Good work. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Before we go any further, I should inform you our acoustic detective system does have potential side effects. For example, you may start hearing voices as the test continues. There's nothing to worry about, I can assure you. When the exam is finished, depending on the outcome, we'll provide any additional treatment you might need. Now on to the next scenario. To further test your abilities, we'll try a higher profile case. One I'm sure you remember from the news. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Lincoln Show. My name's AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Unheard. We are going to be starting case three. Um, we just did, we did the first two cases in one video just because the first one was a tutorial and the second one was just kind of a let's try and get a little bit more complicated. So I was able to fit it all within the span of an hour. Um, I'm not sure about these next couple cases. Maybe they're going to be a little longer, a little more complicated. I thought I'd have to like split the, like one case into two or three videos, but I think I can probably knock out uh, one case of video. But uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see how things are going. At the central booking complex downtown. A gruesome tragedy in a crowded police station. Twelve people, twelve victims. Now, what's your take on this? Okay, so, okay, about five minutes here. We have to keep track of the <laughs> blade. That's funny. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check here. Their case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader. You working the night shift tonight? Well, what a surprise. I don't even have to this bust you. You still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound? I'm gonna keep falling, Dwight. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Come on in. Uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But, you still gotta fill this out. Oh, for crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There, ta-da, signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. You two, we're going to reception. All right. Hey, glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey, Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Here, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you get a feeling he's the bomber. The way, you know, with all the phones. Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. You can keep following Dwight here. I'm just sitting here while he's taking a piss. That's kind of uncomfortable. I like how I'm playing kind of like a ghost. Like, I'm not real. God damn it. Who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. Okay, so he's trying to call somebody. Is he going to try and call him again, or... I, I, I feel like I want to go see what someone else is doing, but I'm also just kind of... But at the same time, I want to make sure I'm not missing something with this character. 
Just gonna kind of skim through until he does something. There we go. All right. While he's making that phone call, I'm gonna kind of run around and see who's getting a see who's getting a call. Okay, so it's this guy. So are they just trying to call each other? Growth. Quiet in there. Hey, come on, let me out. What are you in for, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why'd they even bother? Ah, oh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. I didn't even have that much. How come I passed out? Somebody slipped something in my drink. I still feel groggy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of guys like you, all claiming they didn't drink that much. Sure, I'll bet you were totally dry in college or whatever. Have trouble walking straight. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. See, more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. This way. Let's you hear that? Fake leg. You know, for a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a gun vehicle. What you hear? Ow. All right. Well, we got Dwight and Schrader up here. Jessica's at her desk. Anyone in the, uh, in the rooms? <sighs> Are you done? It was just a phone! Guy didn't even want to press charges! But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft! You broke the law! What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about it. I had something like this on night patrol. You're wasting everybody's time. I've had just about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't be my problem much longer. Use his goddamn name. I'm in no hurry. Though, can't say the same for the guy whose phone I pinched. He looked like a real complainer. Hmm. Come on in. Well, speak of the devil. Uh, the desk sergeant wants to release. Inundated. Okay, we already we already already saw that. Nice to meet ya. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Then Ocean's Eleven or Ocean's any other bunch of those movies reference. Another one. Two phones. You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside. To your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Cassidy. Burning the midnight oil, I see. And, wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I, uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? Inside. Let me call us a cab. All right, should be here in a few minutes. Just a sec. Any cats and dogs outside? Let me call us a cab. Um, I'm, I'm kind of following these guys. Should be here in a few minutes. Now, you're going to tell me what's going on? I was at the Mountain Hotel when I saw that chump hanging outside. It stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. Ow! Shit for brains. How many times I got to tell you? You can't make banks stealing phones. Well, I just thought... You know, practice makes perfect. Unbelievable. You really are a moron. Ugh, whatever. Look here, I'm gonna show you something. 
See? This here's a phone I stole on the bus. I don't get it. You call me stupid for stealing flip phones, and then you steal one yourself. <laughs> that piece of shit probably ain't even worth ten bucks. Wait and see, my friend. Wait and see. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. Don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you gotta help me out. I'm in a real bind. Got arrested. Solicitation, yeah. Long story short, was on a business trip and got a little antsy. You know the feel. Keep this between us, though, will you? I called because you're the only one I can trust. You've got to help me. Cops asking me for a grand to make this whole thing go away, else I'll be processed first thing in the morning. My own money? Think I have any? A dirty cop took my wallet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you, now would I? Anyway, you need to wire the money to my friend's bank account. 165-987-2626. Name's Mickey. Ocean. Yeah, I like the sea. Uh, you'll be doing me a real solid. A real solid. And I'll pay you right back as soon as I get out. 1,300 big smackolas. The extra 300's for your trouble. Uh, nah, nah, don't mention it. Friendship's worth its weight in gold nowadays. Uh, anyway, old copper's back. Catch you later. You really think it'll work, Mickey? He totally bought it. Patience, my friend. Patience. We'll get the money soon enough. Oops. Uh, Sorry about that. It's fine. Phone. No, something else. Something else? I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. What's a phone to you, huh? This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone. It's access. Access to the owner's... Nah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. What did I tell you, huh? There's my Damn, money! Damn, Mickey, you the man! I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this! Huh. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm... I I'm, I'm going to try and answer these questions kind of like one at a time. Seeing that it was Dwight's phone that blew up the bomb. I'm like, I'm sitting here with like a notebook next to me just kind of taking notes like, as opposed to using the note system in the game. I, I find note systems in games always kind of like a little clunky. Maybe it's because I also write faster than I type, but eh, whatever. So I think Dwight brought the bomb. It would make sense because his blew it up. You know, let's see. Yeah, sure, if I... Sound sources need to have the correct name attached. Right now, you have five of them. Oh, okay, so it wasn't Dwight who brought it in. Dwight was just supposed to blow it up. Uh, or at least I'd assume, because Dwight had two phones. <clears throat> okay. Well, I was just kind of testing something. So, so far, I have all the names correct. I still need to figure out this guy's name, but... We'll, we'll do, that, uh, do that in a little bit. Let's, let's start searching around, seeing for... Uh, where some other people are. I thought we were supposed to be... <laughs> now let's start playing, just seeing what's kind of going on. I still don't have this guy's name. With some outrageous... She say his name when she walks in. I, I missed it. Are you done? It was just a phone. Guy didn't even want to press charges. But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? No. It doesn't surprise me that you're a rook. Wait, he was... He's just snoring. Yeah, okay. That dude's snoring.
We can sort out the details. And bear and guys, I don't even have to. I don't even okay. have to. But you still end up here. Sorry, I'm just checking out. I'm checking out this group of people who are coming in here. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Oh, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Got something to. Okay, so this is Martin. Take care of us all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug, how's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Okay, so I know. I, I know. Bla Give me a second. Let me. Let me write this down. So Blade and Doug are with uh, with Martin. We just need to discern which one is Blade and which one is Doug. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. Hi. It was just a car accident, Captain. Did that really require bringing us all the way in like this? I got somewhere I need to be. Yeah, are you picking on Doug? Quiet, both of you. All right. We're doing this by the book. And now that we're back at the stage, That one's Doug. That one's Blade. We blew with the scene and it came back negative. What more do you want? You gonna let us go or not? Congratulations, loudmouth. You're up first. Follow me. You, stay right here. Let's see if Doug's getting maybe a phone call or something. When is this gonna be over? I ain't got all day. Give me a second, let me test something. Okay, so he's getting he's making a phone call right now. Let's see what's Dwight doing. Mm. Like he could be getting a busy I'm at your no. place. Where are you? I me. I'm at your place. Okay, so he's making a phone call to somebody right now. Okay, so it's not those guys. Sting you. Why are you here? Okay. So this is the guy who was calling with Doug. That's guy's ma that's guy who's on this call with him. Yeah, it's I'm Tucker. At your place. Where are you? Let's just get the name down. There we go. So we're still missing Kent, Sting, and Chip. Well, let's talk later. See you at the meeting. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna head back out and listen to Tucker's side of this conversation. See if there's anything going on with that. Why are you here? To bring Sting in. Why are you here? To, just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you? Here? Okay, so I'm gonna guess that uh, the guy. This is Sting, I assume. No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. All right. Name? Uh-uh. Hey, babe, you knew? Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said, I'll take it from here. 
Mm. Understood. Let's talk in my office. Take a seat, please. Now. What the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent. He... he couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. Saw an opportunity, so I had him booked for public intoxication. Okay. So given that, uh, this guy's Kent, I assume. And there's one guy that we still don't know the name of. Then that's got to be Chip. All right, we got the names. Hopefully. No shit. Huh. Why'd Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? I didn't see anyone else there. What's your boss look like? <laughs> nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile, you know? I wasn't trying to trick you. Just curious is all. Yeah, but something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Looks pretty sauce to me. Didn't even wake up on the ride over. Must have had himself a whole bottle. Or five. Yeah, well, this guessing game won't get us anywhere. You keep an eye on those two there, will you? We can't let anything go wrong now. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay. I'll see you out. Okay, so Doug's gonna go see the boss. You know, for a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government Why vehicle. Why are you here? Okay. I bl okay, let, let me... Okay, so Dwight didn't bring in the bomb. The person who detonated the bomb was Chip. But that was by accident. At least I assume it was by accident. Alright, so yeah, we got everyone here. Everyone named. Hello, Sergeant. There we go, okay. Yeah, they're gonna argue. Jessica and Chip, here comes Mickey to get Chip out. Kind of looking for new conversations. Dwight on his phone was interesting. But let's listen in on uh, here on the uh, police interrogation. I know Martin and Blade are going to be having a conversation here. What the hell were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? All right, I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. Yeah, okay. So Blade's an informant. Or an informer. Words. Why? What did he do? Car accident. Fake car accident. Seems so fake to him. And I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do, just don't you let him first. leave. Roger that. Word on the street is, Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. All right, I've sent someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what you know. But make it quick. That car accident you staged won't buy us much time. Yeah. Doug was already getting suspicious. Okay, how much do you know about Raven? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them are so Hollywood blockbuster, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. I've been undercover as part of his organization for two years. Oh, undercover cop, not informant. Sorry. After he pulls off a major heist, he wipes out his crew and gets a new identity. 
Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys, and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why I can't find a single person who knows what this psycho looks like. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID Raven if he was standing right in front of me. But if this precious pattern of his means anything, we might have a chance of nabbing him tonight. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running the rackets in this city the past few years. So when he calls a meeting with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. Even if he claims it's to pass on the Empire to one of his lieutenants. No wonder Doug's throwing a hissy fit about getting up to that hotel. He wouldn't miss this get-together for the world. He's been wanting more territory for a while now, and he thinks he's got a shot at the crown. That's why he's so anxious. The rest of the underbosses are probably headed there as we speak. Raven's supposed to show up later. You don't think by any chance that Doug is Raven? I don't think he is, but I can't say for certain. A lot of guys will be there. Any one of them could be him. If we sweep up the whole group, we can sort him when we book him. I guess we'll see. Okay, you head up there with Doug, I'll put together a squad to back you up. Got it. Now let's make this real. Fucking cops! You have okay, here's here's where I'm I'm sitting right now. I think Dwight is Raven, and I think Kent's brought the bomb in. It, you, you heard him when he was walking. Let's see if I can if I can. You know for a fact. You see, you hear you hear that weird thing in his gait. It's it's almost like he's got like a uh, prosthetic leg or something. I guess you could hide a bomb or something in that and not have people think it's weird. It wouldn't be taken off of his position, and it blows up around him too. So. Unless it's planted under the floorboards, it has to be on one of these guys, unsuspectingly. So I'm putting money, it's on Kent. So I think Kent brought in the bomb. I'm just going to put the put my answer to the question here before I forgot. I'm not saying he did it knowingly. I also, I but before I make my final decision on who Raven is, I want to I want to hear this conversation here between Sting and Cassidy. There we go. So I think this is the last. Although I mean, there is that call that Dwight was trying to make, but I'm not sure about that. I don't know. You to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do. Just don't. You go first. Down. So everyone, stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. It's just you and me now, Sting. What are you guys trying to pull, huh? I mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel. Picked up a drunk. Guy's still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? What's that drunk look like? Like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp, though. His leg, was it prosthetic? And uh, did he have a scar on his right eye? And how do you know all that? You know the guy? Interesting. Doug's behind this, no question. Doug? Why's that? Earlier today, our boss informed us he was going to choose his successor. Only me, Doug, and Kent have a shot, really. Now Doug asked Tucker to lock me and Kent up. It's so obvious. He wants to make sure he's the only candidate. Damn, you're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He took a bullet for the boss. That's how he lost his leg. That prosthetic leg of his, that's a gift from our boss, too. Got anything else for me? I gotta get to that hotel. Actually, there is something else. I just heard from Martin that it's highly likely Raven's about to resurface. Raven? Get out of here. If Martin said so, there's got to be some truth behind it. You've heard of Raven, too? Only rumors. Word on the street is Raven kills anyone who gets a look at his face. Once he's made enough money, he runs off and gets himself. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, kind of make my guesses here. I, I, th I think Dwight is Raven. Chip detonated the bomb, and the bomb is on Kent. Oh, I did. Oh, kick ass. 
there were some guesses in there, but. I think the boss told him before the rest of us. Yeah, something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, and I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Trouble walking, stupid. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Cargo freighter, the one that blew up in the harbor. Raven's doing. Got what he wanted. Murdered his guys. And scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. Oops! Uh, sorry about that. Oh man, I didn't even catch the fact that that Dwight was up at the Mountain Hotel. I, I didn't catch that bit. I was just kind of inferring by the fact that he wasn't caught up in the blast. He was kind of, I don't know, acting weird. That these situations seem to be full of coincidences. Sorry, I meant great job. What do you mean by that, lady? You're progressing through these examples at a steady pace. But I knew you could crack them. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater? Depends on the play, and or musical. All right, well, like I said, we're going to put about uh, one case in each video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. Until then, my name's AJ Gels, the Sound of Game Channel. I'm out.